Oh, what's up guys? It's head on to MK118 here and today we have a very exciting day. Today is February 9th. It's a brand new month. 2017 is coming along really well so far, I honestly think. And today we have the classic Rick pack uh, opening for the helmets. Classic helmet opening. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty excited for this. I know the community has been for a while. Today we've got Darth Vader here for the commentary. There's been lots of videos and streams. Darth Vader, would you like to introduce yourself? Yo. Wow, it sounds very, very excited to be here in my presence, yo. You literally sound like it's just like, uh, like you just sound like you're, uh, you're half dead inside. Well, you should be excited. It's a very exciting time. Well, all right, so I'm pretty excited. I've been half dead for 18 years. All right, guys, we have 630,000 rec points. That is absolutely insane. You can either spend 9.99 for this or 150,000 rec points. I cannot give away free rec points. If I did, I, if I could, I Damn. would, but I can't. All right, so let's open it up. Super, super excited. Let's do it. Damn. I am very excited. All right, so here we go. Every helmet. You mark E Delta, which I believe is five. CQB, close, uh, military police, pilot. Operator Generation 1, Security Generation 1, EVA Generation 1, EOD, and Recon. Wow, there's just so much there, and I just honestly think this shit just looks so amazing. Super excited. Now I have everything in the game again. Now let's check out all of these amazing helmets. Alright, so we're going to go and put the armor on white so we can really notice it, and we'll do white and red. We'll do white and orange. So the color patterns for the uh, Mark V Delta, they seem pretty damn nice. I really like the uh, the coloring along the side of the uh, helmet. I really don't, yeah, not too much cool. of a fan of the big blank spot on top of the helmet, but I really do think it looks nice. Uh, it looks very official and it looks very legit, so I definitely uh, enjoy that helmet. Let's check out some of the other ones that we have. Yeah, just, just absolutely mind-blowing. Just love it. So we have 238 helmets. I have 240 to wear. Let me see two more helmets. I know one of those helmets is the Olive Helmet, and then the other one is Achilles. And then we have everything. Olive is obtained by getting a Forge Map in the matchmaking, which I definitely will be trying to do you that. I have. Uh, what's up, Darth? I got 149 out of 229, and I got 153 out of 240. So I'm halfway You'll there. get there, man. Just keep playing the game. Wow, honestly, yeah. CQB, I, I can't even tell you how much I love this helmet. It looks absolutely astonishing. I love that little light on the top of the midnight visor. It just looks so great. The color schemes are very nice, very subtle. I really, really like it. I definitely am going to be What's using this. What's your favorite this. helmet? I really do like CQB. Well, I'm going to reach one. I'm, I'm learning to fall in love with these helmets and i just really love that you know really brings that classic halo feeling and that was the whole point of you know this rec pack um so very exciting i like, I like recon I'll, I'll eventually get to recon i know recon is very treasured among the halo community military police this is one i never unlocked in halo reach yet um I, I don't really it. know how I feel about the headlights on top. I, I honestly really don't like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, even the ODST yeah, helmet. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. Like, think about the OST helmet. They had, like, the, the night vision generated into the visor. So they didn't need actual, like, headlights attached to the side of the helmet. So in all honesty, but it is a nice-looking helmet. And it does look a lot like ODST. But it's still very nice. And I think if you put that with some armors, it would look really kick-ass. For example, like with Linda's armor or something. I don't know. I just really... As, as odd as those extra lights look, they just look really proper as well. And I think they really complement the helmet well. So I, I don't mind them whatsoever. I have nothing uh, to say regarding that. I'm actually going to try to uh, get a different uh, set of armor here to... Uh, see if we can... Uh, <clears throat> something that will go a little bit more heavy duty for this military police i was thinking like maybe linda's armor which would be what is it argus uh yeah this is yeah this is linda's armor yeah there argus ah there's argus that's horrible we'll just do when you have so much armor you can literally just go through everything so many helmet combinations. There's an uh, intruder trespasser. I think that looks pretty damn nice. 
I don't know, like, there's just so Oh, yeah, much. I have that one, yeah. Yeah, I, I like through. it. Hmm. I had it, it's pretty cool. I'm just trying to find a good armor combination that would, uh... Really cost, uh, Do you have a uh, Athlon champion? I have every armor. Except for, uh, Achilles. Achilles is the only one missing. I have 220 out of 229, so Achilles is the only one I'm missing. Portal Head Hunter. And I put a lot of money and time and effort into this game. <laughs> and I, I really do enjoy it. I thought I could find a nice uh, armor to go with the helmet, but I guess I was wrong. But it's just really, really exciting, you know, when you work so hard to get all this stuff. But it kind of takes away from the fun. Alright, so this is Pilot. Now, I never got to use Pilot inhalers because I haven't unlocked that either. But, damn. This just really looks kind of weird. <laughs> I'm actually going to change the visor to uh, maybe frost. frost look at this, uh, look at this coloring. I just, oh, look at that. Like, it's so shiny. Do you see how glossy Air this visor is? Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Damn, just so much to it. Wow. I just, that shine though, that shine literally, like, that's, that's clearer than a mirror. <laughs> I do like it. Uh, it's just a tad odd to me. Not one of my favorites. Hey, put the legendary uh, visor on the Mark V Delta helmet. What? Oh, the legendary visor? Play with you if you want. Alright, so here is Operation Generation 1. Now, this what? is one of my favorite armors to use in Halo Reach. I really do enjoy using this armor in, uh, in helmet in Halo Reach. Yeah, it does look really nice with the blue. One uh, it's high. definitely not as glossy yeah. as the pilot was. Uh, sure. I think it looks nice. Um, with the attachment to the operator, though, I don't really like it because one's like a lamp and the other one's more like a some sort of sensor. But uh, once again, just still a beautiful helmet and great to add it to my collection. So here is Security Generation 1. Not really much to say about it. It's very, very blank and there's not much to it. Um, but I do like the kind of like little knobs sticking out of the side of the rounded part I just it's very like the way the uh, the curves are it really complements how it's all put together and I definitely think it looks nice which helmet is as basic as it is um, security does look really nice so EVA EVA is one of the most well-known armors in Halo Reach it is loved Emil you know used it and Emil's a very uh, favorite character in the Halo community and uh, this talent just looks really great and we already have him and, and as so I call now him the, default, the ultimate badass yay. I just love the three little uh, orange notches there uh, for the coloring so you can have that whatever color you want and I just really think it looks nice very subtle coloring and it just overall looks very nice for EVA next is EOD now people will have their their thoughts and feelings regarding EOD me honestly I never really used it much in Halo Reach just is hella weird looking. Hey. It looks really, really weird. Ooh. Nothing against it. I just really find it odd, and I guess that's because uh, you know that's what made it so special. It's just how it kind of stood out there from the rest of the group. So yeah, that's EOD, and definitely just awesome to have. And then of course one of the probably most uh, helmets that are going to be used by the community is Recon. Recon's been around since Halo 3, I believe. I don't know. I mean, I, I yeah. haven't been playing Halo that long. Halo 3. A and it was something that you really had to work for. If you wanted to get Recon, you had to work your ass up for it. A lot like Achilles. So Recon is huge in the Halo community. I wouldn't be surprised to seeing a bunch of people wearing this helmet more than the other ones because, you know, Recon has just made a name for itself over the years. I, I really do like Recon, but I like the shaping of it, but... What about Operator? I don't know. Honestly, Recon is, is one of my least favorites. I like the, you know, the, the light bar, you know, attached to the top of the helmet above the visor. Um, out of all of them, you know, out of my favorites for all of these helmets, I'd honestly have to go with CQB. CQB is definitely one of my top favorites out of all of the new helmets we just got. Mark V Delta because it really gives you that classic Master Chief helmet, uh, hey, Master Chief oh. feeling, and uh, you know, thanks Taxi. EOD, uh, it looks really nice, and I, I think EOD is really a heavy, 
heavy helmet. So if you're going to wear a really badass armor, really a bunch to it, a lot of armor plating, then EOD is going to be a helmet that you want to wear. But honestly, uh, right now I think we're going to rock uh, CQB. Just, I don't know why, it just this helmet, just the way it looks. Something about it just really sets a uh, tone for me. Anyway, so there Fun are party. all of Fuck. the new helmets. Absolutely amazing. It's just so awesome. I can't wait to rock all of these helmets and wear them and stuff like that. Just so much, so much to love. You know, 343, when, when 343 first released Halo 5, there was a lot that, you know, people could dislike. I always do. Just like that. But Halo 5 has really come far. They've, they've done a lot of good and they've fixed a lot of their wrongs. So... I think Halo 5 is actually a game worth playing. Yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, sorry it's been a while since I made a video. I actually have a new game, Minecraft, um, which is surprising. But I'm uh, playing Minecraft to only build aesthetic creations. So really insane, unreal aesthetic creations like, you know, Star Trek ships. Just massive projects to just blow your mind and just, you know, adding to the... Uh, Creative, creative uh, creations, I guess. Um, <laughs> whatever. But uh, but yeah. So I do play Minecraft now, but not to kill creepers or anything like that. To build amazing, mind-blowing ships and skyscrapers or whatever. So, yeah, so there will be lots of uh, projects. Mine that. that you try to work on. Well, yeah, we're working. I'm working with Darth Vader right now on the USS Nomad. It's his ship, but I swooped in and you know tried to make it more Star Trek legit. So if you are a Trekkie and you do like Star Trek, then you should definitely look into what I've done regarding Star Trek work and recreating some of the most epic starships um, and awesome things like that. Because I honestly do I love Star Trek a lot. But if that's not your thing, that's cool. But yeah, so lots more Halo content, Grand Theft Auto, Minecraft, all sorts of fun content this year. It will be coming Resident Evil 7. I will be eventually be getting that, and that's going to be great. My first horror game for the channel, and it's going to be fun. I can't wait for that. But yeah, there's lots to look ah! forward to, so subscribe if you're interested. Thank you guys for all and your support. We'll eventually get to 300 subscribers. I know we will. But yeah, oh, shit, you guys are the there. best. Here's I love you all. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Peace.